Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Coach MC. You're watching Asli Canada. I make videos about study abroad, career growth, immigration, inspirational stories here in Canada. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to become an accountant in Canada. So let's get started so in this video we're gonna focus on accounting diploma what's the difference between accounting degree diploma and also i'm gonna give you some schools that you can choose from and we're gonna talk about the cpa program what's the difference between the prep and the pep program and i also had an interview with two accountants where they share their experiences here in canada so make sure that you subscribe so, because i'm going to post a lot of accounting programs videos here in my youtube channel and and also like this video so more fellow accountants will see this video here on YouTube. I actually have an important announcement so stay tuned until the end. So first thing that you have to know is that you need to know the difference between the accounting diploma and a post-degree accounting diploma. So if you did not finish a bachelor's degree before or let's say you don't have any background in business, then I would recommend you to take the diploma in accounting. So I took this when I was in Nova Scotia Community College and in your first year you're going to learn a lot of different aspects of business such as marketing, project management, supply chain, finance, and as well as accounting. On your second year, you're gonna have the chance to get the concentration, which in my case, I took accounting. So I learned about foundational in accounting, such as taxation one, accounting one, two, three, accounting, managerial accounting, and as well as accounting software. On the other hand, let's say you finish a bachelor's degree, however, it's not related to accounting, then you can actually take the post-degree accounting diploma. In post-degree diploma, you're going to learn a lot about accounting and the courses will actually gonna focus on for you to become a CPA in Canada. The courses will actually meet the requirement for the CPA PEP program. Both programs will allow you to work in accounting industry. You can work as an accountant. Make sure that you know the difference between an accountant and a certified professional accountant. So let's say you wanted to take the post-degree accounting diploma. You can actually check Selkirk College, Commerson College, Langara College, Saskatchewan Polytechnic, and many more. If you're not sure what program to take and what school to check, Make sure that you connect with, with us because that's where we specialize. We do program advising, career assessment, and you also get the chance to talk to alumni students who went through the same journey. So make sure that you talk to them before you take that program. Me too. Well, one of the reasons why I'm, I'm glad I chose this program is because mm -hmm. um, it, it's not very, it's not that it's easy to get the job, but it's like there's a specific market for accounting students. So it's not very hard for me to like choose because I'm a very um, undecided, indecisive person. So even even now, I'm not really sure what to do. Like mm -mm. right now, like do I want to be a YouTuber? Do I want to be like an accountant? <laughs> but at <laughs> least like now after graduation, at least um, one thing that I just like have to decide is like oh, which company do I apply? Like because every company needs you know um, accountant, junior accountant, yes, keeper. Yes. So. Since I'm the only one working here in the office, I literally like have no like have no one to talk to or like have no one to ask yes. if I have a question. Like so, for example, I have um I have to do an entry or something. Um, oh God, I'm gonna be yeah. like Google how how to entry like <laughs> journal and <laughs> and so by that I slowly learn on my own. Yeah. This is the perfect um job position for me, especially right after graduation, because I had to learn um from the very bottom. And then yeah. I have to learn um, from a small company and then I had to do almost everything here with the full cycle of the accounting. So it's really good exercise. Yeah. If you're an internationally educated accountant, you can actually have an assessment with CPA Canada and they will be able to tell you if you need a preparatory courses or maybe you can actually get into the CPA PEP right away. Sarah is actually a senior accountant working in Canada and she actually explained to me what are the courses that you will need to take for you to become a certified accountant in Canada. So there's two types. So it's either you work in industry, which is you are an accountant for a company, or you work in an accounting firm. 
um, usually the pathway to students when you graduate accounting, you don't necessarily take the CFE or what we call the common final exam or the CPA exam. There are requirements, so you still have to enroll with CPA Canada. You need at least two years of employment verification experience so your employers mm -hmm. will verify that oh yeah you met your auditing hours you met your taxation hours or what have you so they need to verify those and that's why um, students usually opt towards accounting firms because they pay for your CPA Canada courses which is six courses um, you have the core mm -hmm. one core two two electives capstone one capstone two which are basically reviewed a reviewer mm -hmm. for your CV and then the CV. So it's really wow. long. So even if you took all of that in a span of a year, if you don't mm -hmm. have enough hours or employment you won't verification be able hours, to... you're not going to be a CPA. So I know um, one of my friends who passed the CPA, but she hasn't worked enough finance hours because one of the electives is finance or taxation hours she hasn't had enough so it's been two years she still hasn't had those hours but she passed the cpa exam she's just she just can't call herself cpa so now listen up we're going to have a live event with Blair and Sarah and I'll put the link in the description box. So if you have further questions, we'll be able to answer that and connect with us during the live event. And also Sarah and Blair are both my student mentors. So if you have if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them and talk to them heart to heart, you can do that. Visit my website studylivexplorca.com for the student mentorship. And you have the opportunity to do that before you get into the program and talk to those people who went to the same journey so that you will avoid some mistake and also you can see and assess yourself if you want to pursue accounting in Canada. Again guys, do not forget to subscribe, like this video, hit the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys, bye on. I'll see you in the live event, bye! Head chef.